Hey guys, it's Erin, and I am hanging out over in the Life Documented 2020 Facebook group, and I will put that link down in the description box below, so you should go and check it out and see all of the fabulous artwork that these beautiful people create. So today I thought it's fall, let's whip out the deli paper and see if we can make some leaves. So I'm going to take an art board while all of mine are preoccupied. This is actually the bottom of um, one of my homemade easels. So this is, I'm just going to tape the waxy side of the deli paper down and I'm just using some masking tape and I'm just going to put some tape on the top and the bottom to kind of give us some space to work. Now I have a black pen and I'm just going to write down everything that I'm thankful for. You can write down whatever you're thankful for, just make it big whimsy. It doesn't have to be super tight, but again, you can create however you feel comfortable um, creating this. So I just have a black Sharpie pen here and I'm going to turn it sideways and I'm just going to get all crazy writing stuff down. Now I'm going to show you a couple different ways to do this process, but to begin with, we're going to bring in some acrylic liquid inks and we're just going to put some kind of fallish colors down. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, if we make a little bit of brown, actually, that's okay this time of year because the leaves are changing color and brown is a fantastic color. So I'm just putting some of those colors down. I'm going to spray it with water and use paintbrush and just kind of mix it all together. And you can really see those shimmers from the Lindy sprays. Oh, it's just so cool. And the texture from the wrinkles, it's really neat. So I'm going to take this clear gloss spray and I'm going to do two coats on the front and then two coats on the back. But to give you a different idea, let's say maybe you don't have acrylic inks at home, but you have watercolor. Let's play and see what we can do with the watercolor and how it turns out. I'm going to go ahead and use a different fixative. For those of you who are really sensitive to smells, I find this fixative to be awesome. It does smell like alcohol, but it, the scent goes away pretty quickly. I'm going to do, again, two coats on front and back of this one. And then to give us one more um, try, just to test it out, I'm going to try this Mod Podge in the matte and see what it looks like. Again, two coats front and back, um, and that was also with the watercolor. So here is... So here is the first one with the clear spray paint, and it almost has like an oil cloth feel, which is kind of neat. Um, this is the Spectra Fix, so it's not a see-through, um, and it's definitely very, very matte. And then here is the Mod Podge, which does have a little bit of sheen to it, but also gives some of that um, kind of clear, um, like, glassine paper feel. Both of those, those first two do. But I love the way they look, and it's totally different. And my inspiration for today was these leaves I found in my backyard, and I thought how fun it would be to cut up the paper like leaves. So 
here's our pile of fallen leaves. Just kidding, these are the ones that I cut out. I figured you didn't want to watch me do that. So here is the Dina Wakely journal. It's a really old one I've had for I don't even know how many years now and I need to finish it. And I thought that the burlap page would be kind of fun to have these leaves that we created on top of it. And what better way to sew them in than grab some glittery embroidery floss. I love these. Oh, the rainbow. I just want to run my fingers over the colors. So I'm going to choose a color that, you know, is kind of earthy, probably just this little brown. And I'm going to split it because I don't want, um, like, it to be so thick. I just kind of want a little bit of shimmer between the leaves, which you end up not even really seeing in the end anyways. So I'm going to pretty much speed up most of this video. The main part of the the meat of the video was the technique for making the leaves which you could create um you know christmas balls like the ornament balls would be really cool to do that or like snowflakes or really any color choice that you choose the options are endless uh, but i really enjoyed you know kind of making the see-through-y uh color and then just having those abstract kind of leaves and so I'm just sewing them onto the page here. And then off to the side, I spied this gorgeous Lindy spray that just screamed autumn to me. It was a orangey, rusty, shimmery color. And I decided to edge that around the burlap and the page just sort of flowed from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some music on and I'll add some prompts when I need to. Um, but I really enjoyed creating this technique with you guys and I would love to see how you add it into your journal, or maybe you make cards with it, or maybe you just make them to hang around your house for fun. However you do it, please be sure to tag me and um, enjoy the rest of the video. Mm -hmm. 